So today I'm going to show you four of my favorite coats for winter. These coats are perfect if you have a smart, sharp sort of style, the kind of style that we always talk about here on Effortless Gent. These are also perfect if you live somewhere that's cold during the winter, but not like frozen, arctic, tundra, freezing cold, if you know what I mean. I also have three transitional items that work well as lighter outerwear if you ever want to just layer. And these are great for like the slightly warmer days of winter. Let's jump into it. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gents. If you are new here, I'm Baron. On this channel, we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress sharp, how to dress with confidence, and of course, product suggestion videos, kind of like what we're doing today. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out some of our older videos as well. So I'm calling this video, Come Online Shopping With Me. You may have seen those Come Shopping With Me videos here on YouTube where the YouTuber takes you to a store. I personally hate shopping in stores, so we're gonna go shopping online. That's why I have my laptop right here. And I'm gonna show you the coats that I suggest for you this winter. Quick shout out to our sponsor, ShopTagger. I've been using their app for the past year or so, but especially more so now because Cyber Monday and Black Friday are both coming up. ShopTagger is essentially an extension that lives on your browser and it helps you keep track of every single thing that you might wanna purchase. So how exactly do you get ShopTagger on your browser? It's super simple. First of all, you have to click on the link below in the description box and it's going to take you directly to the signup page. Super simple. Just type your name and your email address and boom, you have a ShopTagger account. Then from there, all you do is download the extension on your browser. Simply follow the directions that are on the page that you're looking at after you sign up. And then that's it. You're ready to start shopping and start adding stuff to your ShopTagger dashboard. You can save every item that you're thinking about buying and in the ShopTagger dashboard, it allows you to create lists to sort of organize all your potential purchases. And the best thing about ShopTagger is that it lets you know when any price change happens for the items that are in your dashboard that you saved. Another really great thing about ShopTagger is that it applies coupons automatically when you are checking out. So all you have to do is click apply and ShopTagger is gonna automatically apply all the potential coupon codes that will work for the store that you're shopping at. You can also grab the app for your smartphone and then all your ShopTagger dashboard items are gonna be synced. So definitely check out ShopTagger. I'm including a link in the description box below. It's super easy to get started and it's really nice to have one place to organize all the things that you're thinking about about buying. Thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video and thank you to you for supporting the brands and the apps that make these videos possible. Okay, so coat number one, you gotta have a parka. This specifically is the Land's End Men's Expedition Winter Parka. It comes in five different colors. The MSRP is $299.95, but with Land's End, they typically do a lot of discounts, which is great for me and you, the uh, shopper. I do have the one in straight up black which I think it's a good solid color to have. It kind of goes with everything, looks great. I think a navy would be also a great choice. Uh, what I do like about this coat, a few things. Uh, one, it is really, really warm. So on the product page right here, it does say that you can wear this up to negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna keep you pretty warm. And I think that's just with the coat. That's not including like if you have a mid layer underneath like a sweater or a vest or something like that. On the back of the hood, let me show you these photos uh, right here. So it has like a little uh, sort of like pull tab right here. If the hood is too like big on you, you can kind of scale it back and, and make sure that it fits better on you. So that's one thing I really like. And you can cinch the waist a little bit. So if it's too like boxy on you, you can cinch it up a little bit and then it has a little bit better of a uh, of a silhouette as you can see on the guy right here. He's cinching it on his coat. I do like that red, by the way. I think that's pretty cool, but I want the black because I want something that I can wear sort of everywhere. They have these really great sort of waist pockets right here. And not only do they have the flap, but it also has uh, pockets on the side. So you can kind of stick your hands in through the side and uh, over the top in the flap, but those are two different pockets. So it's nice compartmentalization here. They also have good chest pockets. There's just a bunch of pockets. There's also interior pockets. It hits about mid thigh. I'm 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, it's a little bit longer, so it's gonna keep you warm. You're definitely gonna wanna size it down because uh, I'm typically a medium, and even on the product page here, it says that medium is a 38 to 40, which is my size, but when I buy mediums in Land's End, typically the way that their clothes are, it's just a little bit, it's made a little bit bigger. So you're gonna wanna size down. I bought a small and the small fits perfectly. It's not too tight in the chest or anything like that. There's a lot of room in the body. Um, so definitely size down if you're gonna go this uh, with this coat. Okay, so coat number two that I wanna suggest to you for fall and winter, mostly winter, uh, is the quilted car coat. This is one of my all time favorite coats. I've been using this for the last 
two winters and this is basically take me through the whole like from fall all the way to winter into spring i took this with me to italy last year this is a coat that i, I think just keeps me perfectly warm it's it's warm enough and it's not too heavy nor too bulky this is the reason why i really love this thing if you dress like in a smart sharp casual sort of way uh this is a nice coat to have i did go with the olive uh the olive colorway it has a brown corduroy trim collar it's definitely it's roomy that's so why you start to size down just like with the lands and parka that i suggested earlier same thing here it has the um, pleated flat pockets in the in the front waist but you can also stick your hands in the side and they are separate pockets i really love that i like having like a lot of compartments and a lot of pockets uh, without it looking too bulky. So I think this uh, is a great example of that. The coat here has like these brass snap buttons, which are great. It also has a zipper. It's a two-way zipper as well. So you can uh, unzip from the bottom if you want a little bit more room when you're walking. I think that's a great feature. Another thing I like about this coat is that it has double vents, uh, which I don't often see, but I think it, it, it's a nice little touch. Again, it adds a little bit um, of flexibility when you're moving around. I typically, they, and the nice thing is too, that you can snap them shut if you don't want them to be open, but I typically just leave them open. And I just think that's a really cool feature. Again, I don't see this very often with coats, uh, but I like that Lands End has included that in their car coat. Uh, so I just think it's a really good looking coat. It, it's it's nice and trim, but it's not it's not overly trim, so you can wear like a suit jacket underneath or like a sweater, like a thick mid-layer. Uh, the blue color is also really nice. Uh, I couldn't really decide between blue and green, but I just wanted that olive color. So the MSRP on this is $149.95, but again, typically with Lands and they have a lot of sales. Right now, you're looking at about $75 with the code that they have. Uh, so this is a great pickup if you are looking for a winter coat that I think keeps me warm enough. And if you kind of run hot and you don't often get too cold throughout the winter time, I think this is a good coat to have. By the way, I'm gonna to link to all of these coats in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, I'll definitely link straight to them and you can uh, take a look at all these coats that I mentioned. Okay, so winter coat, fall-ish, winter-ish coat number three that I wanted to suggest to you guys is the pea coat. The pea coat is like, I love the Pico. Like this is the one coat that I think every guy should have, especially if you are dressing in a smart, sharp sort of style. Pico is awesome. So this is the Doc Pico and it does have thin slit. This is from J. Crew. This version is, so right now, I think it might be just a little bit early, but J. Crew typically has a bunch of colors, navy, uh, black, uh, charcoal gray. And they have this new one this year, which I've never seen before. It's Evergreen Heather, which, I think it looks pretty awesome. If you haven't seen my video on menswear neutrals, you should watch that video. Um, olive is one of those colors that are menswear neutrals, so you might think, oh, how do I wear a green coat? It's not like a bright green coat, it's an olive green coat. So you can definitely pull this off with your standard uh, menswear neutral colors, like navy, charcoal, light gray, light blue, white, all those colors. And I think you check out that video because I explain and go more into depth about what menswear neutrals are. Uh, and that'll help you understand why I think this is a coat that will go well with a bunch of stuff. But if you are not into this color specifically, I think J. Crew is gonna have other colors as the winter goes on. I'm pretty sure because they usually do every year. But I wanted to let you know about the Doc P coat with Insulated because this has really kept me warm. This is actually the coat I used to wear a lot before I discovered the quilted car coat, which I personally like better um, because it is very lightweight and I can like layer it and it doesn't feel too heavy. This guy is, it gets really heavy. That's the one thing I don't like about it. It's very heavy because it is, it's wool and it's insulated. It's super heavy, but it does keep you warm and it looks really sharp. So I think it's a good coat to have. Uh, and I do switch off between this and like the quilted car coat. Those are like my two main coats for the winter time. And yes, I do layer, I put a sweater underneath, uh, a long sleeve shirt, etc. Um, and I think those coats are like my two main coats. I think you should definitely have a pea coat in your wardrobe if you don't already. So this is my number one suggestion. Again, I'm gonna link to this below. Keep checking back, add it to your shop tagger, <laughs> add it to your shop tagger app too, because uh, they're probably gonna come out with other colors. This is my fourth suggestion for a really great winter coat. This is more on your formal side. This is a camel and wool cashmere overcoat. I love this thing. I had this, uh, I think about two years ago. I've been wearing it ever since. It's a beautiful coat. I do wear it more casually like with denim uh, or she knows, but you can dress this up with like a suit, trousers, things like that. I love this coat so much. I love the camel color. Looks really beautiful. The fabric is really nice and soft. It has a nice like three roll two sort of situation here. If you're looking for a, uh, a little bit more polished or formal option and uh, you're you're looking for something that won't really break the bank, like thousand, two thousand dollars Spear McKay has like a bunch of stuff that you need to check out. I love this brand a lot. Can't speak more highly of it. It's a great brand. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely one of the coats that I suggest for you if you are looking for a more formal sort of overcoat. Again, doesn't have to be formal. I wear this with jeans and stuff all the time. I think it's a great looking coat. 
Uh, so definitely check this guy out. Okay, so those are the four main winter coats that I suggest for you. So just to recap, that is uh, we have a parka, we have a quilted car coat, uh, and we have a pea coat and an overcoat. I think those four coats, if you only have four or if you're trying to keep it as minimal as possible, those are the four that I think will take you through the winter time. Again, the caveat being that you don't live anywhere super cold where you need like to really bundle up. I do have three other suggestions that they might not be like winter coats necessarily, but I think they're great for like the transitional periods. And again, if you run warm, then maybe you don't need a heavy coat. And I think these would be really great for you. Alternative coat number one that I think is worth having is a standard trench coat. The one I have is from Uniqlo and they just kind of had a crazy sale on this recently. Uh, originally it's like $130, which is already a great price for a trench coat. Uh, and then they went on sale for like $99. And so I bought one and I love this coat. And then they went on sale again. They dropped the price to like 70 bucks. I don't understand why. I think it's like, maybe it's the transitional season, but the coat is incredible. It, it's just like a really great, uh, it's a great piece because one, Uniqlo, I think always knocks out of the park in terms of fit. And this trench coat is made really well. Like it's still very traditional in the sense that like, it's not too short. Uh, it comes down to right above my knee, I believe. Uh, and you want your trench coat to be longer because again, if it's raining, you want a lot of coverage for your body so your pants don't get wet. Lapels are a nice size. I can button the collar all the way up uh, if the weather is really nuts. And you know, it's just a great overall coat. They have it every year. I've been looking at it for the last two years and I never bought it. But this year I just uh, pulled the trigger and I'm, I'm surprised I didn't buy this earlier. It's a great coat. So that's one uh, coat, alternative coat that I suggest for having uh, for winter, but especially for those transitional months when it rains a lot, spring and fall, this is a great coat to have. Okay, so alternative coat number two that I think works totally fine in winter if you don't get cold, but also really perfect for the transitional seasons, a great leather jacket. One of my all-time favorite brands for leather jackets is All Saints. I just think they make really great jackets, super soft, beautiful leather, uh, and it's definitely more of a fashion brand versus like, let's say, Shot. They have the styling of biker jackets, uh, but you know, these aren't meant for riding on bikes necessarily, but they do keep you warm and I think they look great. So I like the biker style jacket. You know, this has the asymmetrical zipper with the quilted shoulder and like the lapels. This might not be your style. I like this a lot. Uh, I had to work up to this obviously because I didn't buy this as my first one. My first jacket that I bought was similar to this, which is more of like a cafe racer style. So it's very clean. Uh, there isn't much like decor on it. You don't have the crazy lapels, the quilted, the quilted shoulders, things like that. The collar is just a band collar, which I think looks really clean. It's a very simple jacket, uh, no frills. I think it's, it's actually really cool. I like this a lot. If you want to kind of like jump into leather jackets, but you're not sure like what you should go with, uh, definitely try something like this first and then this will help you like ease into the world of leather jackets and you can always, uh, you know, go to the, um, the more like the biker style jacket later on if you if you really want to. Another great option if you want to jump into leather jackets but you're not sure about the biker style yet is uh, go with a bomber. So this is, this is a very classic style that isn't very out there. So you don't have to worry about feeling like, oh, I don't know how to wear this thing. This, this, it's a very simple jacket, just have it made of leather, super trim, uh, really soft, beautiful leather that's comfortable, it smells great uh, and looks good. So. This is another great option. So you can go with the bomber style jacket or you can go with like this cafe racer style. Two leather jacket options that are great, but if you already have these two or you want something that's a little bit more trend forward, something a little bit more stylish, you can go with the biker style jacket, uh, which I love, I think it looks great. So those are the three sort of leather jacket options that I wanted to give you for winter if you don't get that cold uh, or if you live in the South or something or transitional weather, transitional seasons these jackets would be great. Okay, so this is my final jacket suggestion for you for the transitional months and or if you don't get that cold. Uniqlo has a uh, ultralight down jacket, which I think just just buy one. It's, it's a great, it's a great jacket. It keeps you warm. It's so light and you can roll this up into a little ball uh, and you don't, you can just like stick in your closet and it's, you can carry it with you whenever you need to. Uh, I like to pack this in the winter time if I'm going somewhere just in case I need an extra layer. It's it's an incredibly warm jacket. It doesn't get in the way. It's a great jacket to have. I also have this in a vest version. So I use this, um, I use the vest for like underneath the sport coat or just like as a mid layer uh, with any other jacket that I have that isn't super heavy. I think this coat and the uh, vest are two things that are worth having. I suggest getting, you know, again, menswear neutral type colors. I think black's fine. 
Uh, they do have navy, you can go with like a gray, silverish color. Uh, I have one in black, I have a navy one, and I have a burgundy vest. So those are the three colors that I think that I have that I think work great. Uh, but definitely have one of these at least uh, in your wardrobe because they will come in handy for sure. They're great layering pieces, but they can also be worn just as the outerwear piece and they'll keep you warm and dry. Uh, so yeah, this is a this is a great product. I love this thing. I've been using them for years. All right, fellas, I hope you enjoyed my suggestions. Uh, check out these winter coats. I think they are great. I'm gonna link to everything below, like I said. Also, definitely check out our sponsor, Shop Tagger. Uh, I've been using that app a long time and it's really helpful to sort of organize my stuff that I wanna buy and also lets you know when things are gonna be discounted. You don't have to check. I think that's great. Uh, I'm linking to all the products that I talked about in this video down in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out. Uh, question for you, I wanna know where you live and what coat you need to use for most of winter. Do you live in like Vegas and it doesn't get very cold only at night, it gets a little chilly? Uh, do you live in, I don't know, Minnesota and it's freezing and you need a heavy, heavy winter coat? Let me know where you live. And let me know the kind of coat that you wear during the winter time. I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and that's it. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. I'll catch y'all in the next one.